understand and realize what God is and what are his qualities but also and it is very important we need to know what God certainly is not brothers and sisters to promote better understanding and integration on similarities between religions as well as living in real harmony along with the differences the Islamic Research Foundation presents today's talk on concept of God in major religions by Dr. Zakir Naik. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbi shuhali sadri wa yasir li amri wa ahlul ugdata min lisani yaftahu kawli Respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May peace, blessings and mercy of Almighty God be on all of you The non-Muslim may be wondering that what was I murmuring or uttering in the beginning of my talk I was not trying to mesmerize you or hypnotize you but I was reciting few verses of the Holy Quran from Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 25 and 28. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, asks Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, to deliver the message to the Pharaoh, Moses, peace be upon him, he prays to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and recites these verses, Rabbish Rahali Sadri. Oh my Lord, expand my breast for me. Expand my center for me. Why are silly amri? And make my task easy for me. Wahlul ugdata millesani. And remove the impediment from my speech. Since we know that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was a stammerer, was a stutterer. So he prays to Almighty God to remove the stammering, to loosen his tongue, as well as remove the barrier, if there is any, between him and the person to whom he is going to deliver the message. If a person is giving a talk on other religions, those people in the audience who do not belong to that religion, they may think that this person is going to speak against their religion. For example, if suppose a Hindu is giving a talk on other religions. The non-Hindus may feel that he is going to speak against my religion. If a Christian is giving a talk on other religions, the non-Christians may feel that he is going to speak against my religion. Similarly, I being a Muslim, when I am giving a talk on other religions, the non-Muslims may feel that I am going to speak against their religion. That's the reason. I'm praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, to loosen my tongue as well as remove the impediment, the barrier, mental or otherwise, if there is any between me and you. The topic of this morning's talk is concept of God in major religions. Religion, according to the Oxford Dictionary, means a belief in a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal God or gods that deserve obedience and worship. The Qari, Pradashak Muhammadi, he recited two verse of the Holy Quran from Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, which says, Say to the people of the book, that come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'abuda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushrika bihi shayyam. That we associate the partners with Him. Wala yatsakhiz abad dun abad dan arbab and minnun illah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Fine tawallah. If then they turn back. Fakulu shadu. Say we bear witness. We are now Muslimun that we are Muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a verse of the Holy Quran 
which shows you a way how to speak with people of different communities. It says, Ta'ala ila kalmitin sawa'im, bainana bainakum. That come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'uda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushrika bihi shayyam. That we associate to partner with Him. One thing common in all the major religions of the world is that the God they worship, they believe He is the same God for them as well as for the others. For example, the God which the Hindus worship, they believe He is the same God for the Hindus as well as for the non-Hindus. The God which the Christians worship, they believe He is the same God for the Christians as well as for the non-Christians. Similarly, the God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we Muslims worship, we believe He is the same Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Muslims as well as for the non-Muslims. The major religions of the world can be broadly classified as Semitic religions and non-Semitic religions. The non-Semitic religions are further divided into Aryan and non-Aryan religions. The Semitic religions are those religions that are followed by the Semites. Who are the Semites? The Semites are the descendant of Shem, who was the son of Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, which is mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, chapter number 5 to chapter number 11. So Semitic religions are those religions that are followed by the Jews, by the Arabs, by the Assyrians, by the Phoenicians, who speak Hebrew, Aramaic, Arabic, Akkadian, Phoenician, etc. The major amongst the Semitic religions are Judaism, Christianity and Islam, all of which are prophetic religions. The non-Semitic religions are further divided into Aryan and non-Aryan religions. The Aryan religions are the religions followed by the Aryans, a group of Indo-European speaking community which spread in Iran and northern India in the first half of the second millennium BC. That's 2000 to 1500 BC. The Aryan religion is further divided into Vedic and non-Vedic religions. The Vedic religion is Brahmanism, which has been given the misnomer of Hinduism. The non-Vedic religion are Sikhism, Buddhism, Jainism, etc. Amongst the non-Aryan religions, we have those of the Chinese origin, like Taoism, Confucianism, etc. Those of the Japanese origin, like Shintoism, etc. But most of these religions, they do not have a concept of God. Therefore, they are preferably called as ethical systems instead of religions. As far as my talk today will be concerned, I will be speaking about the concept of God in major religions of Semitic and Aryan origin. To understand the concept of God, the best and the most accurate way is to analyze their religious scriptures and understand what it has to speak about God. Trying to analyze the concept of God by looking at the followers is not always correct because most of the followers, they themselves do not know what the scripture speaks about God. So let's analyze today the concept of God in major religions by analyzing their religious scriptures. First we'll discuss 
the Aryan religions. 